I'm not going to that, I'm not doing this, these people are stupid, I hate this, this is frustrating. The mind will tear you down. In search of great women shaping the modern social landscape of Eastern and Central Europe, I came across Davina Reeves. There she is, the new Miss New York USA. She was Miss New York in 2010 and then left the world of beauty pageantry to start a new life in a small village in the mountains of southern Poland. Davina and her Polish husband started Therapeutic Mama, a YouTube channel about well-being and health that soon gathered a following across the country. Szefirek, powiedz nam, dlaczego sok jabłkowy i ocet jabłkowy? Co to do, konkretnie robię w naszym wątrobie i po co to pijemy? To są, to, to są, dwa, to są dwa płyny z największą zawartością kwasu jabłkowego. Czyli... At the time I didn't know that this documentary wouldn't be as much about her as about the women she's helping. Davina invited me to join one of her retreats where people come to cleanse their bodies and minds through trauma healing sessions. Wow, it's so quiet here. Really the air is fresh and the whole environment is so inspiring. Actually the venue is down there and really, I could tell why people choose this place to meditate and relax. The people I met in the breakfast room have been here for five days. They had been going through the process of liver cleansing drinking liquids in order to flush toxins from their bodies. The night before was the most intensive of the week, with many spending more time on the toilet than in their beds. Liver cleansing is believed to improve people's health and well-being, although this is disputed by the medical community. As Davina was preparing the room for the final group session, I was curious to learn how liver detox and trauma healing fit together. We've just inspired detox. We've just finished a liver cleanse. And in our bodies, toxins are flowing around everywhere. We have toxins that have come out of our liver and they're flowing here, there, they're in our bloodstream. And now we wanna do a little bit of movement work, just like light shaking. We wanna bring our arms up and just inspire these toxins that are flowing around in our bloodstream to come down come into our heart, maybe go out through our lungs with deep breathing, maybe go into our digestive tract and come out the other side. You want to engage um, the whole body, mind, body and spirit. You want everything to be involved. The mind is so important and the mind is so strong and you can call it the ego, it needs a job. It needs to understand, it needs to rationalize. And during a detox this intense, the mind will either sabotage you or if you learn to engage people's minds, it will work for you and with you. So we always engage people's minds so that they understand what they are doing, because if not, the mind starts to make problems for people. It starts to say, oh, I'm hungry, I need this, I want this, and it starts to stress out, I'm not going to that, I'm not doing this, these people are stupid, I hate this, this is frustrating. The mind will tear you down. If you engage the mind and you teach the mind and you help the mind understand why it's here, then the mind becomes your best friend. It becomes a helper, it becomes a teacher, it becomes a tool. And that's kind of our goal. As soon as the trauma healing session started, it became clear that our camera crew was making it difficult for people to let go. To jest trudne, żeby wejść, kiedy są kamery, kiedy to to jest trochę takie stresujące. Oni będą tylko tutaj na chwilę i wychodzą, ale mi się wydaje... With the crew gone, I stayed with them, not really knowing what to expect. Trauma is stored deep within our bodies. It stays there as an imprint, causing severe stress, constant fears and crippling depression. Some people struggle with it their entire lives. Group treatment like the one I was about to witness 
aim to heal trauma by focusing on the body instead of the mind. Deep-rooted emotions are brought to the surface. When that happens, people cry, scream, and tremble. And then comes relief. I just came out of this session. Davina and the rest of the ladies are still there. And we did not film this part because of the privacy of what is discussed in the session and also because it's a very intense process. I have to say that it's my first ever time to be, take part in something like this. And I can understand that it's part of actually admitting your trauma, but then also overcoming it. And that is the part where people cry or scream or they express very intense feelings, which for me, it's an incredible experience to see how brave those people are to publicly share this, go through it, experiencing the same pain and then come stronger out of it. Uh, so now I'm just waiting for one participant that accepted to talk with me more about the trauma, how to overcome it, the shaking of the legs where you overcome the trauma. So for now I'm waiting for them. But till then I'm just gonna, I'm checking that the uh, Irek is cooking so I'm gonna go help him. Seth here, I'm struggling with this. I'm trying, but you just, it's... You just it's, scratch it. Do you have like people that they might have asked you to change the menu and include meat, for instance, or you always follow your... That's not allowed. That, that's, that, when you come here, you, you kind of surrender yourself to and trust to what I do. Uh, there's no meat here, there's no, there's no cooking, there's not much cooking. We, with few exceptions, we don't cook food here, so it's, it's mostly raw. It's all vegetarian, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's mostly vegan, I would say, except for honey. And, and it's also uh, gluten-free, naturally gluten-free, we don't use grain. Uh, so that's, in short, that's the idea. And I, I like that you mentioned the word trust, because I see that people trust you and Davina truly um, you with their diet and Avina spiritually and uh, how do you feel? Do you feel that you're leading them, you're helping them to change their lives? Uh, in a way, yes, but also I think everybody's working hard here, so they're doing themselves. Uh, of course, going back home is it's a different story because you, you, fall into, you fall into whatever is there, your old path, your, your old... Um, your old habits, and, and that's the key to, to show them, to teach them as much as possible so they can reconstruct some of this back home. One of the women who was with me at the session was Marta. She agreed to tell me more about her experience at the retreat. How do you feel? I see that you kind of let go. Yeah, you know, I feel really relaxed. You know, my body is like a jelly. I, to be honest, I could sleep now like a whole night. So I feel like I, I let go a lot of tension from my body. This is my experience for now. Yeah, I, I totally understand because I see that when uh, Davina said to, for all of you to relax, you mm -hmm. immediately went on a state of relaxing while I was, was like, how do I find this relaxing mm -hmm. pose, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, can you t tell us in general, because we weren't there uh, physically with cameras, mm -hmm. what are the topics, not of always this uh, session, but what mm -hmm. are the topics that uh, women touch during mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. conversation? Mm -hmm. Actually, there is no rule. You know, like, people, people are coming here for a different reason. For example, some women were abused. Some people went through really hard breakup. Some people have really low self-esteem. So, to be honest, like each re retreat is different. So the topics are really different. There are a variety of people. And, you know, the, um, you know, like if I can tell you, like what is really common for all of us, we are suffering. We are suffering and we want to heal here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, uh, did you try other ways and then you found Davina? Or you just straight up uh, came here? No, it was not like straight away. I tried, you know, I've been looking for 
some knowledge first. So I read some books, I was listening to some podcast on YouTube, you know, there are a lot of smart people, for example, Eckhart Tolle or Byron Katie. And then I found Therapeutic Mama on YouTube. I was surprised that Marta never mentioned psychotherapy as an option to help her with her suffering. So I decided to ask a psychologist to find out why people go for this type of group therapy. The idea of seeing a psychologist, a psychiatrist or a psychotherapist is often linked to the thought, something is wrong with me. But when I find a group of people who say, I have a similar problem, then my feeling isn't something is wrong with me, but rather everything is okay with me. I have something in common with others. Davina gave me a more in-depth explanation of her therapy and told me more about the trauma and how it leaves the body. When Marta's laying here and she's working through her own fear, she's sending out these vibrations of fear. And you have also a vibration of fear, unworked out, unresolved, and so you feel it, it hits you and you're like, <gasps> and suddenly you feel this fear. And that's how we, I guess you could say the word use, or we allow other people to heal us. So every person sitting around, you saw we had, there were about five or six people, seven people sitting here, and each one of them is responsible for their own healing. We are here to support her and hers, but we're also here to support ourselves and to hear. Her vibration gives me a sense of fear. What do I fear? How do I feel? Why am I so sad? What, why is, what is this, what's going on inside of me? Generally, there is nothing bad about going to group therapy for trauma healing. But you have to be ready to join the group, to share some profound feelings and experiences with other people. That's why the right diagnosis is important. It matters because group therapy assumes common experiences, a common level of maturity, or similarities in the individual's life situations. If someone experiences a difficult situation in life, faces adversity, not necessarily because of trauma, they run the risk of experiencing second-hand trauma when subjected to others who do have trauma. Our exercises, I guess you could say, are to ask her body, not her mind. We've spent the last five days getting out of our minds and coming into our bodies. And we want to ask her body, how does her body feel? And her body will start to look around, ask questions. It will start to communicate with her. We call this the innate wisdom of the body. Every emotion that stirs something in us, every thread we perceive, stays in the body. When I'm self-conscious, as a mature adult, I can say to myself, OK, I'm stressed, I go for a run or talk to a psychologist to deal with it. And that's OK. But generally, as kids, we don't have these resources, these skills. And so the emotion and the tension stays in the body. Maybe in my childhood, I... Um... I was always told to be careful about everything. Don't touch that, don't do that, don't say that. So it built fear in me. Okay, what's deeper? And then usually they go to a concrete situation. I remember when I was five and my mom, I burned my hand and my mom yelled at me so much that I, was, I became afraid to do anything. And then she will probably start to shake. And that's what we want to inspire. We usually just have our feet connected and we slowly ask her body to open her legs and then we ask her body to close her legs and her body finding these the answers to these questions will say to her, okay, I felt unsafe, I felt afraid as a child and right away when I say what is deeper, that's already telling her mind and her body that, oh wait, that's true, what's deeper? And we start to see that the fear wasn't necessary and our body is ready to let go of this program that we have. 
So what we're doing is we're just changing the beliefs in the body. That's a simple way to say it. Even though all this was new to me, what Avina said made a lot of sense. The support these people gave each other was touching. And what I saw at the retreat will stay with me for a long time. Coming back uh, from the retreat, and I took some homemade bread from Iraq, and uh, I'm just trying to put my thoughts together, particularly from the trauma treatment. You guys probably ask now, what happened behind these closed doors, right? And all I can say is what Marta said, that if you don't experience it, you can't describe it. 